Hey there, folks. Welcome to Ben Farrell Freelance. This is episode three, and this week we're talking about developing a character. Hey there, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. This week we're talking about developing a character because when I'm starting a new play or when I'm helping one of my clients start a new play, that's where I have them start. If they have ideas for a character and what they're going to do in a simple plot, I don't let them go any further until they know exactly the ins and outs of every character that they're going to have that's a major character in what they're about to write. Now, over the course of this vlog, I'm going to go over a bunch of different ways to develop a character, but this one specifically, I want to talk about creating a backstory for your character. A backstory is extremely important because when a character gets into a situation in your story, if you've already created how they've grown up and how they were raised and what they believe in, then you know how they're going to respond to that situation before you even even start writing it. Here's an example for you. Tell me about your childhood. Did you grow up in a family that had a lot of money or was it fairly low income or or were you even poor? I had not many friends. I had some friends that were greedy. I was spoiled. I had almost everything in the world, but I enjoyed every minute of it. Let's talk about your parents a little bit. Did you have uh, both parents growing up? Did you have one or the other? What's your relationship with your parents like right now? They're a little not happy with me that I got everything. I don't know if I will see them soon, but I still love my parents, of course. Questions like those are important. Friendships, relationships with parents, how they grew up, that's all gonna dictate how they behave in your story. But it doesn't stop there. When I create a character backstory, it is lengthy. In fact, I wouldn't be who I was if I didn't have a tool to help. What I've created for myself and for my clients is a character backstory questionnaire. And it's downloadable for free on my website. Just go to benfarrowwriter.com and click on resources and it's listed there. Now this backstory questionnaire is not very long. It's only about three pages of questions. Your answers should be as detailed as possible. And my questions ask sub-questions as well. For example, Tell me about the friendships that you have. What do they think about your success? Do you have any longtime friends that are still around? Do you have any close friends and a bunch of acquaintances? Or, or are, do you tend to be kind of a loner? I have some longtime friends. Yes, they are very jealous. Some are poor and they just really want to be me. Some of the other questions on my questionnaire is natural talents. What do they have a natural talent for? Can they play an instrument? Are they good at mathematics and science? Why do you think they've gravitated to those things? Another question, and an important one, how good is their bullshit detector? Are they easily gullible? Can they spot a lie like that? These are also very important, especially when they start getting into complicated situations of your story. What would you say is the proudest moment you've ever had in your life? Jumanka Pody taught me how to whistle. Making sure your character's backstory is completely developed and fleshed out is really going to save you time when you go to start writing your story and your character's place within it. Very rarely will you get in a situation that you just don't know what your character's going to do. Have you ever skinny dipped in the Thames? Worst infection of my life. The other thing that's important about this questionnaire is that it refers to everything as far as the character goes before the story starts. It even asks, what did your character do the last few weeks before the story starts? I played Hamlet at university. I was fabulous and fantastic. The reason for that is because I do other things to help develop the character for when he's in the story, and I'll be doing a vlog on that as well. I lived with a ghost in my flat for a year. It made the best steak and eggs for breakfast. Remember, the more you prepare, the less the despair. Every time Judy Dench plays in a new movie, she calls me for advice. And remember, creating a character backstory is only one tool that you can use before you start writing to make sure that you're ready to start writing. I made a West End audience wait two hours for my curtain call. Doing something like this can be highly effective. To give you an example, I have a client who was asking me to help him write a one-act play for a festival. He had a basic plot, and he had one character, because it was a one-man show, but that character was also playing a character inside the play. So I had him do two of these backstory Q&As for both the sub-character, or the secondary character, and the main character. He had very, very basic information to give me, but I had him fill out this questionnaire, and after he got done, I had so much material from it, we were able to complete the first draft of his one-act play in two days. And that's only from writing a couple of these. 
he got back what he put into it. So once again, you can find that questionnaire that I created on my website, benfarrellwriter.com. Click on resources, and it's the second resource listed. Download it, print it out, and have a lot of fun because it is really fun to develop characters. This is Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. Thanks for hanging out with me. I was asked to play the Queen of England, but I turned it down because I had to wait for a package on Amazon. Hey folks, before I let you go, I wanted to let you know that with the launch of this vlog, we are going to be running a contest and I'm going to run a new contest every two months. So for this first two months, we are going to do a naked selfie contest. So no while you guys naked selfie contests. Stick to the script. Fine. What the contest will be is email me a subject or a topic you'd like me to do an episode for. And if I choose your topic, and I will choose a topic for every contest period, then I'll send you a copy of one of my plays for free. So for this first two months, we're going to feature Skin in the Games. And if you want to learn more about it, then visit benfarrellwriter.com and click on Stage Plays. It's not as exciting as a naked selfie contest, but at least it's free stuff. Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. I'll catch you next time.